it's morning and we're gonna go have some breakfast at the Excalibur Buffet. So $31.99 on the weekend, $28.99 on the weekdays. It's brunch only, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So let's go inside, I am starving. drinks and we need a coffee because it's morning but they do have a good variety of sodas juices coffees they actually have one of those machines that you can make like cappuccinos lattes or you can just get regular coffee they have milk and chocolate milk um, but sort of the first strike for me is I went to get coffee and I made one little latte and I made just a regular coffee now the only creamers that they have available are these sweetened ones the French vanilla or the powdered coffee mate. I'm not a big fan of the powdered coffee mate. I want like half and half or something like that. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna just have a latte instead. and I went to the Latin section and they had eggs migas so I wanted to try these out. They're probably more flavorful than the regular eggs. So eggs migas, there was like a little bit of salsa in here and tortilla strips. So that's pretty good. Some breakfast potatoes, but oddly enough, the breakfast potatoes in the Latin section look like the same as the breakfast potatoes in the regular breakfast section. Seasoned well, actually. Um, let me just take a bite of the regular eggs. I expected the regular eggs need some flavor, need some seasoning to them. I'm just gonna have a bite of bacon. I think this is just like typical buffet bacon. Hmm. It's all fine, but I'm actually really liking these migas eggs. So I'm gonna have these. And then there was a whole other section, the American section, where they mixed in with like mashed potatoes and stuff. They had some other breakfast items like pancakes and French toast. So I might hit that up after this. Time to carb load. So I went back uh, to the American section where they had another whole assortment of breakfast items. So I got some French toast with some berries. They had the, the strawberry sauce that was near this cheese blint and lovely biscuit and gravy. So excited to try it. I love my carbs. Let's try the French toast first. French toast decent. Um, it's got just the right sort of crunch and softness in my liking. Cheese blends looked amazing. I'm not sure what it's gonna taste like. Honestly, kind of disappointing. The cheese inside there, it's too crumbly. I don't know, I was thinking of more of like a melted cheese. I know it's like a kind of ricotta mix, but it's not, not to my liking. So I will pass on that cheese once, but now on to the prize possession, the biscuits and gravy. Salty. Let me try one more bite. Gravy's kind of a lot salty, and I like flavor, so if you don't like a lot of salt, you probably won't like the gravy. But I'm gonna kind of work around it because the biscuit's actually pretty good. Enrique went and grabbed a plate of lunchtime food. So he has chicken and ham and ribs and a biscuit. And oh my gosh, I'm like just wanting to try like a little piece of this ham. We're, he's sharing with me a little because I want to try some out. Mm. The ham is excellent. Let's see this chicken. Oh my 
can get a piece out here. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. I got a bone. Yeah. <laughs> that was very elegant. All right. I'm, I don't really want to try a rib. But, oh, it's not a biscuit. It's a roll. Although I did see some biscuits, so I'm going to go grab one of those for myself. But. Mm. This lunch stuff is pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm happy with this meat selection. Good job. <laughs> All right, Enrique being on his sort of lunch theme, went to the Latin section and got some pozole, pastor chicken wings, and birria. So I think I'm gonna try a little of this pozole. I don't wanna take too much away from him, but I just wanna try the juice, because that's important to me. Ooh, it's spicy. Flavorful. I did squeeze some lime in there just to give it a little extra sort of flavoring. I have to say, I'm actually impressed with the uh, pozole. It's pretty good. And yeah, let's try a little bit of this birria. I'm just gonna take a bite of the meat, I think. It's um, actually got decent flavor, very tender. I think that the Latin section is winning overall so far. All right, I'll give this back to Enrique so he can eat his food. the dessert area so I went and took a look at everything they had and thought how could I make this sort of like breakfast like so they had a little donut I grabbed a pie which uh, was it wasn't labeled but it sort of looks like red velvet with some sort of filling inside and I got a crepe it's blueberry and whipped cream inside freshly made the whipped cream is actually made in-house everyday fresh too so really excited to try that but let's try the other two first because I'm less excited about the other two donut it's a donut not that exciting all right this pie looks interesting um, I'm not sure the chocolate flavor to it, maybe a raspberry filling, but it's not my favorite. It's okay. All right. But this crepe is what I'm excited about. So they will make them fresh in front of you and just looked amazing. Mmm. As expected. Amazing. There's a ton of toppings that you can add to it. Could get like caramel or chocolate drizzled on top, but I was wasn't really in the mood for that. I just had him sprinkle some powdered sugar on it to make it look cute. But mm -hmm. you do want to try the grapes for sure. <laughs> If you want to have drinks with your brunch, you can do so for $14.99, all you can drink, up to 90 minutes, so don't stay here all day. But you can get mimosas, beer, Bloody Marys, and house margaritas for $14.99, all you can drink. So not bad if you want to get your drinks while you're having your brunch.
Burger Buffet worth the cost? So let me just say that the quality is not your win or your Caesars Buffet, but the price obviously reflects that. I mean, you can have all you can eat for $28.99 on the weekdays and have a feast. And it's decent food. I'm not saying it's the best food, but it is pretty decent and you can find a lot to like about it. And hey, you can get drunk for $15 all you can drink while you're at it too. So this is a good budget buffet. I do think that the, with the prices in Vegas as they are right now, everything's so expensive. You're going to be hard to press to find this much food at any lower cost. So I do recommend if you're on a budget and you want to have a feast, you can come to the Excalibur Buffet, find things that you like, and you'll have a good time.